Nobody talking when I'm talking, fella, so shut the fuck up. And who the fuck are you? And who the fuck are you? Yo, yo, big, big facts back in the building. Yo, man, I got shook. I got shook night. Just got through. I got a, well, I got an audio of Suge Knight for y'all to listen to, man. Suge Knight got a brand new podcast. Y'all check out his podcast, man. Anyway, uh, Suge Knight is talking a lot of stuff about a lot of issues. He got, he says, he he talks about Master P. He said Master P line. He talks about WAC 100. Suge Knight just went in on a lot of people. And he specifically went in on Mob James. Yes, he goes in on Mob James. He call him James. He lead a mob out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he said Mob James got slammed by Tupac. <laughs> said Mob James got flowed by Tupac, y'all. You know, that's probably why a lot of us think he don't like Pac. Pac put him on his ass. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all hear, man. Check it out. It's like it's people that say they're from my neighborhood that really weren't from my neighborhood. Like, we got a dude named James, and he speak on with Reggie all the time, and, and he said he was a day one. Definitely one of the day one. Definitely didn't go to school with us. And the reason why a lot of people didn't go to school because back in those days, it was way more crips than it was for our road. You can go and stand on your own, but you had to really be able to stand on your own. And, you know, for James to make all these allegations about he couldn't go to elementary school because the crips was going to come to school and get him, he was a crip, number one. Number two, crips didn't come in my neighborhood and do that type of shit. Everybody stood their own, hung on their own. And, you know... I could see his bitterness because, you know, they lived in a garage with no running water on drugs. And but the thing that gets me the most, people want to say something about Pac. Don't think Tupac was soft. Tupac was a punk. Tupac won from the hood. I think Pac did more for my neighborhood than most of the whole bunch of people in that neighborhood. All I do is rap and talk loud. My biggest crime is talking loud. For is doing stuff with the kids, coming to see the kids, giving the kids money, handing out toys with the kids with me, uh, going to the elementary schools, or is uh, they're standing up. I mean, I hate to be in a situation where you got to bring up old shit. Come on, James, you know the truth. It was in my house. Well, you never been in my house, but outside, me and Buntry, which is my road dog, and you said we got into it before that never happened. Buntry wouldn't go against me for nobody. And I wouldn't never let nobody put their motherfucking hands on me. Yeah, that's my dog. He lives always, you know? And you know, I remember when James was on one of his drunk dances and Pac put him on his pockets. And when Pac put him on his pockets, he, yeah, and he was like, Bunchy, look what he did. And, and, and Bunchy was like, oh, man, we're going to start calling you Mob Jamie, you know? But I ain't going to get into the details of all that because I ain't going to get to going back and forth because at the end of the day, it's not about a lie you say. It is what you accomplish in life. If you never accomplish nothing, you don't deserve to talk. And Reg, and you know, it's broadcasting some bullshit when they be talking that negative shit. And Reg, you know, I love your mother. She's a great lady. You sitting on there with James and James talking about he got the 6 four. That 6 four you talking about is the one I painted white with one of DMX's favorite uh, dogs on the back with the red guts. And then it says paying me all my money, but I sent that shit to motherfucking Leo and Russell a weird ass. You know? So all that little extra shit, that's nothing. But that's enough of that. But the other thing